Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Jake Derees here with your weather headlines. It's going to be an active. Uh, sorry, let me start that again. First main weather for the morning and noon. Three, two, one. Welcome back. I'm meteorologist Jake Derees here with your weather headlines as we are tracking an active weather pattern this week with both multiple chances of showers, breezy conditions, and we're even starting our day off this morning with foggy skies. But that'll be turning and dissipating as we head into the afternoon hours, leaving us with mostly cloudy conditions this afternoon with highs a bit above average for this time of year, 57 degrees. And we're going to be seeing quite a bit of roller coaster temperatures this week as well. We'll get to that in a minute. But first, let's track these showers. Last night we had a cold front that swept through did not bring a lot of rain. We were so dry yesterday, but we have multiple chances this week. Like I said this afternoon, we're looking at mostly cloudy skies, but we're going to start to see some shower potential move in here this evening at around the five o'clock hour. It should be a little bit light. The most uniform showers are going to be moving in more so in the overnight hours right there at around 4 a.m. and into the 5 a.m. hour with some strong southeasterly winds gusting in the 20 mile per hour ranges. This is from an upper level low that is traversing from New Mexico, making its way north towards Wisconsin, Minnesota. So just off to the west of us here, bringing off all of that Gulf moisture, allowing for these showers that again we need in some of our areas that are still being impacted by drought. Once this is all over, how much rain are we going to see with this system as we head into Tuesday evening? Well, we're looking at two tenths to three tenths of an inch of rain. And again, if we look at our drought monitor, there's just should this should be nice for areas like Clinton County, Eaton County and Hillsdale County and everywhere else that's also abnormally dry. This is the drought monitor that was issued this past Thursday. Now let's talk those wind gusts because we're also going to be dealing with breezy conditions once the showers move in. Let's look at them right now. Southeasterly flow tonight at around 10 p.m. We're looking at mid to upper teens, but in the overnight hours, that's where we're going to see the breeziest of it all in the mid to upper 20s, possibly in areas around 30 mile per hour gusts. This is around 5 a.m. to start our day, continuing into the late morning hours. But once we get into the afternoon, especially the evening hours of Tuesday, we're looking to see our winds calm down and shift to Lansing and Jackson tonight. We're looking again at rain showers. That's what we're going to be tracking. Overnight lows quite above average for this time of year at 51 degrees as we'll head into tomorrow and definitely be warming our temperatures. Look at this Tuesday, 62 degrees as a high roller coaster temperatures because wait for this Wednesday back cooling back into the upper 40s, possibly Thursday. Look at that upper 30s as a high as we're tracking rain throughout showers and rain throughout overnight Wednesday into Thursday, 33 degrees, which we're also watching very carefully for some potential winter weather. We'll be again tracking it very close for you as we head through the week, but we'll be ending the work week on Friday with mostly cloudy conditions, highs at around 44 degrees. And right now we're also tracking a dry weekend, both on Saturday, Sunday, mostly cloudy skies, highs in the lower 40s.